Hello and welcome to Fanshawe College's virtual open house. My name is Michelle. I work in reputation and brand management at Fanshawe College and I will be your host for today's session. Before we begin today's session, I would like to review a few housekeeping items. The audience webcams and mics are turned off for the session. If you have any questions throughout the session, please submit it with the questions feature. To open the questions feature, click on the question mark. Following the session, we will have a live Q&A from the questions submitted. We will try our best to get through all of your questions uh, within the session time. And if you have any questions after the session, we recommend you email myfuture at fanshawc.ca or book an appointment with one of our Fanshawe College recruiters. And all of that information is up on our website right now. If you do have multiple programs open and running, it may compromise your webinar experience. So we just recommend that you take a moment now to close any open programs before we begin today's session. I would now like to introduce Julie, who will be speaking about the tourism and travel program today. I will be back again for the live Q&A, and I'm now going to pass it over to Julie to start the presentation. Thank you, Michelle. Welcome, everyone. I really appreciate you being here, and I hope uh, this uh, session is really informative for you. Um, and it can help you uh, in some of your uh, decisions that you're uh, trying to make at, uh, at this point. So um, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, the travel industry and our program. And uh, this slide that I have up here um, kind of says it all. Um, if you have a genuine love for travel and people, then this is the industry for you. One of the best things about the tourism and travel industry is there's always opportunities to use your creativity as no two days are ever the same. A career in this industry will be both exciting and unique, and it's where you can help make your clients' dream come, dreams come true as well as living your own dreams. So this next slide uh, just shows a picture of myself. Um, and a couple of other, our other faculty in the Tourism and Travel program. Um, and we share your passion um, and love for travel. Um, not only have we had many years in the tourism and travel industry, but we are avid uh, travelers ourselves and uh, we can help you discover uh, whatever avenue you might wish to pursue um, in, the, in the travel and tourism industry. So I know um, what's um, probably top of mind is uh, the current situation. And so I do want to talk to you a little bit about um, the uh, choice of uh, or the, the choices that you're making right now. It's a key time uh, for um, you to be making a decision to enter the tourism and travel industry. Um, like many, many other industries, the tourism industry will take some time to return to full operations. But commencing your Fanshawe program now is the key time because upon graduation in two years, um, you will be prepared to join the industry as it enters a new era. And we do believe that this post-COVID um, era is going to be um, a new era that requires a fresh outlook and innovation. Um, people like yourselves and certainly like myself will be looking to make up for lost vacation experiences once it's safe to do so. The tourism industry will need to put balance new trends, plan and prepare to manage capacity and renew its labor force. So let me tell you a little bit about our program. Um, let me give you just a snapshot. So as I mentioned a moment ago, it is a two year education program. Uh, cooperative is in there because there is a co-op semester. So if you um, take a look at the slide, you'll see that there are four academic semesters and one co-op semester. And in this two-year diploma program, um, it focuses on essential knowledge, of course, that's vital for work experience. And providing a holistic foundation is necessary to enter the tourism and travel industry with a professional advantage. So what we want for you is um, to understand not only how your education value, that is, you can understand how your education is uh, valued in the workplace. 
by doing this co-op placement semester. So your first year would begin in September. Um, you'd go to December, that's an academic semester. Uh, then you would come back after the holidays, continue your academic semesters January uh, through till April. And then in the summer, May to September, your co-op semester commences and it runs for four months. At the end of your, your co-op semester, at the end of August, you'd come on back to school um, in September to December, and then another, um, your final academic semester, January to April. So it is two years with a co-op semester um, in the middle. And the co-op semester is actually um, a perfectly placed um, for the tourism industry here in Canada. Um, as you may know our weather is the best in the summertime and there are many more job opportunities uh, during our high season here in Canada. So a co-op education designation um, offers um, you a paid placement. So if you've ever done co-op in high school or in other um, um, academic institutions, this cooperative education four month is a paid placement. So we believe your co-op semester is just as important as your academic semesters. Real world experience not only helps prepare you for your second year courses, but it also provides us, every student an opportunity to gain insight into your career path. Your co-op employment will be a paid placement and with the help of your cooperative education consultant, you will be successful. So, um, there's an opportunity if you check out online um, some of the courses that we offered offer in our program I can tell you a little bit about right now but if you want to see a full list of them you can just check out our website but some of the areas that we focus on of course are uh, travel fundamentals so things like time zones and baggage limitations and airport codes things like that World destinations, of course, with uh, lots of uh, information on where to go and what to see, what to do. We have flights and fares. We have group tour management, the business of travel. And on top of all of those travel related courses, we also emphasize the latest computer technology in a course called Emerging Tech Trends. And these are um, this is a course that happens in first level where you can um, just see the latest, um, latest software, the latest um, apps that are being used um, in the travel industry. So it's a really um, a cutting edge um, information for you. So some of the uh, jobs that our students have had over the years, I've got them uh, listed here in um, groupings. So because our program is known as Tourism and Travel, I wanna start with tourism. And the first one is um, all the different areas in the tourism industry. And I mentioned to you earlier about how much, how the weather is the best here in Canada in um, the summertime. So for um, co-op opportunities, we've had students uh, work at Peely Island. We've had them at Canada's Wonderland, lots of tourism, London tourism, Stratford, East Park Golf Gardens, our London Convention Center, even up at Pinery Pro Provincial Park. Um, so these are just a few of the places that some of our students have had co-op because um, high season is the best time. Many of the local and provincial tourism businesses will reach out to us specifically for applications to fill the roles at the different tourism offices and provincial parks. So our industry partners uh, know that you have a co-op semester and will be asking for you um, specifically to come and um, help them out with their summer employment. So travel agencies, there's the other name of our travel program, it's tourism and travel. So these are some um, different um, industry partners that strongly support Fanshawe's uh, tourism and travel students. Um, as you uh, may know, the tourism and travel sector is one of um, the world's largest and accounts for over 319 million jobs across the globe. So in the past, these are some of the tourism and travel businesses that have hired our students, whether it's for summer co-op placement or also for following graduation. Transportation, um, here are some of the companies that some of our um, students have worked for. Um, quite a few of our students got hired 
uh, last winter to work at the London International Airport, if you might know the name uh, Swoop Airlines. Executive Aviation um, does the hiring for the London International Airport, and we had at least six of our graduates uh, work for Swoop um, until the pandemic. And so um, we've had students work at WestJet, Porter Airlines, Air Georgian. I've also had students that have made their way onto cruise ships, working with Royal Caribbean and Carnival Cruise Lines and Disney as well um, after graduation. So there's an opportunity to work in the transportation field. So I've got a bit of advice here, just as I move on to my next slide, I've got a bit of advice here from our graduates. Um, one of them told me, uh, there are many avenues to pursue in the industry. Many tourism and travel professionals will not stay in the exact same job for decades, but migrate from selling travel to niche specialization, maybe into brand or destination representation and custom uh, group planning and marketing, et cetera. So the idea of the place that you start uh, will not be the place that you stay for uh, forever. Some of the resort accommodation, resorts and accommodations that we have our students travel to in the summertime. Um, so if you're thinking you might like to spend uh, the summer out at Banff Springs or at Shadow Whistler or at Rim Rock, uh, we have students that head out west um, to work at these hotels during co-op. Uh, the Delawana Inn, the Deerhurst Resort, the uh, Blue Mountain um, are all um, Ontario locations. And those are also, those resorts are also going to be hiring uh, for, we're crossing our fingers for this summer season coming up. So you can see there's a variety of opportunities locally, provincially, nationally, and even internationally for you to, um, to consider. And then these are just a few extras. We've had students at African Lion Safari. They worked for Kentucky. You may know Epcot, which is the Canadian, um, the Canadian Center at Walt Disney World. Peely Island Winery always hires our students. We've had students work at Sunwing, Trafalgar, um, Hell's Gate Air Tram, which is out in um, out in out west. So the list goes on uh, where our students have have done some of their um either worked before graduation or after so this is probably the best um, slide of all we have an international field trip that we take every year unfortunately this past march we were not able to take it um, it's a seven days caribbean cruise and this is just a picture of all of us um, all the students that attended the cruise. And it's an integral part of one of our courses, one of the courses that I teach actually, which is international field study. So in your second year, in your second um, semester of second year, which is end of March or early April, we head out on a week long cruise. And there is um, the opportunity for you to um, see the world, um, is part of what we do in our program. So this Caribbean cruise is a unique way for you to see the behind the scenes working on a cruise ship and an opportunity to speak directly with the crew and the members about their experience. So we normally have a Q&A with some of the, um, some of the um, crew members to tell you what it's like to work on a cruise. So this was a year ago, well, almost a year and a half ago now, Cruise 2019, and this is, this is our class. There's our cruise ship in the background, and I think I'm standing right about there. Anyway, this is San Juan Harbor at sunset, and so what happens along with specialty dining experiences, we also um, take you on specialized shore excursions. So this just happens to be one that we did um, San Juan Harbor at sunset. So we went on a harbor cruise um, and took a bus tour uh, as well, and then went out on the water to see the harbor from, um, from the water. And it's so beautiful. So just to let you know, the cost for the cruise is extra, um, and it's not included in tuition, but because you know about it in first year, uh, saving up for it doesn't often um, take uh, take too much for you to save up um, a couple thousand dollars so you can go on the cruise. So like the tourism and travel program, the college has a strong commitment to internal, internalization. What? 
internationalization, pardon me. So for 20 years, Fanshawe has been collaborating with international institutions around the world to support students learning abroad. So what happens is you can pay the regular Fanshawe tuition and for one semester, you can go to Finland, Ireland and ho or Holland to do a semester. So here's a slide of um, five of our students from a couple of years ago. So what would happen is um, in second year, first, or sorry, second year level three, so you've been out on co-op and then you come back to go to school, but you've decided to go on exchange. So these um, six students, one, two, three, four, five, six students, yes, they all decided to go to Ireland together to go to school. And they did a semester, they did a September to December semester in Ireland. They came back, finished their semester out, went on the cruise, and so it gave them an opportunity to study um, away from the college, but still just pay Fanshawe tuition. So that's kind of cool. So this is one of our recent grads. This is Dan, and this is a picture of Dan at uh, working out in Cape Breton. He uh, graduated from the program this past um, this past April and worked out at Cape Breton National Park. So let me tell you what he said. This is a quote. He said, "This tourism course helped kickstart my career." In the travel in travel and tourism what i learned inside the classroom along with studying abroad going on the co-op work term and going on the cruise ship field study thoroughly expanded my knowledge of tourism and travel industry i highly recommend the tourism and travel diploma to anyone who's got interest in this field there's also another video that you can watch if you head to the tourism and travel homepage. Um, a recent grad, Cassie, who uh, talks about her experience in our program. So Dan took advantage of doing co-op, going on the exchange um, in Ireland, and also going on the cruise. So he definitely um, got a lot out of uh, coming to our coming to our program. So here's a little bit of information. So if you choose Fanshawe College, you'll be confident in knowing that over 50 years, Fanshawe College has been helping people unlock their potential and achieve success. Serving close to half a million people with a promise to educate, engage, empower, and excite. And these stats speak for themselves. So graduation, graduate satis satisfaction, 80%. Our employers are hugely satisfied with um, Fanshawe graduates. And our employment rate is over 85%, um, sitting at about 88%, um, again, prior to COVID. So here is the question and answer session. If you have any questions, um, please um, ask them and I'd be more than happy to answer. Thank you, Julie, for providing insightful information on your program at Fanshawe College. So we're now going to move into the live Q&A portion of today. And if you want to ask a question, please submit it with the questions feature. To open the questions feature, click on the question mark. So let's have a look through here. All right, so we've got a couple questions in the queue that we will get to. So first question, Julie, is the September 2021 delivery going to be online or face-to-face? -face? Oh, thanks for asking that. Yeah, so um, our hope is that it will be face-to-face. -face. We are um, quite confident that um, September 2021, we'll be back in the classroom, um, working, um, um, working away together face to face. And just to remind you, our campus, um, where the tourism and travel program is delivered, we're at uh, 130 Dundas Street. So we're in the downtown of London um, at the B campus, uh, which is um, one of our most beautiful brand new buildings that opened a couple of years ago. Um, so, uh, yes, I'm really hoping to see all of you face to face um, at the beginning of um, at the beginning of our school year 2021. Excellent. Yes, that would be amazing for everybody. It would be. <laughs> um, all right, let's move on to the second question here. Sure. So which credential will students walk out with upon completion of this program? Right, so just as I mentioned a few slides ago, this is a two-year co-op endorsed um, tourism and travel diploma. 
So you will have um, not only um, have the education um, and have completed a college um, academic program, but you'll also will have completed um, a co-op designation. And that goes a long way when you're applying, obviously, to show to your, you know, perhaps a new employers that you've already worked in the industry. And um, that, that co-op uh, really means a lot um, to the employer, as well as it should mean a lot to all of you, because um, obviously that's why you're um, taking classes and going to college is, is to get that job. And so that is an opportunity for you to have your first job in the industry um, taking part in co-op. So yeah, it's awesome. Great, thank you mm -hmm. for that answer. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on to the next question here. So if you could recommend one thing to students entering into the program, what would it be and why? Okay, um, so I mentioned a few minutes ago um, a little bit about your love of travel, uh, which is, you know, for many of us, it's just so easy. We um, were drawn to the industry, we're drawn to, you know, this program based on the fact that we love to travel. Um, the other the other piece is you need to be passionate about people and you need to have a genuine love of customer service. Um, so I think if anything that you can do to prepare yourself or to even just think that you are a perfect fit for the tourism and travel industry is if you've had any opportunity to work um, in customer service, whether it's in a serving role in a restaurant, whether it's um, working with um, working in retail, uh, where you're offering customer service, um, it's a huge part of the hospitality industry, and to have a, a real sense of liking and really wanting to help people. Um, and serve people and offer them um, an experience that is second to none. I think um, it's that it's that second piece for sure that if you love travel, the other thing would be um, to really uh, truly love people and um, and providing customer service. Awesome. Thank you mm -hmm. for that. Of course. Okay, we've got another question in here. Oh, uh, due to COVID-19, are there going to be jobs when I graduate? Oh, so really good question. And again, I'm talking um, a little bit earlier in the presentation, but I wanted to uh, remind all of you that um, obviously we're really hoping to be all better, so to speak, and be back face to face um, uh, when I, you know, when I see you in September, and I guess what's most important for all of us to remember is um, that the the projections or the forecasts that the government are making and the tourism industry is making is that we will be rebounding. Um, certainly slower to begin. Perhaps this summer, maybe a little on the slower side, maybe more domestic tourism, um, meaning staying in Canada, staying close to home. Um, but as soon as we are all allowed to, um, you know, leave home and feel secure about that, um, they're forecasting the rebound to be literally be happening right around the time that you're graduating. So when I'm talking about rebounding, I'm talking about getting those levels of travelers and tourism back up to pre-COVID levels. So if we go back to February of 2020, before all this happened, the forecast is they believe it's going to come around um, around um, the beginning of the year for 2023. And that doesn't mean that we have to wait till then to travel and wait till then to study tourism and travel. But it will, that's the forecast is getting us back up to pre-COVID levels um, right around the time you guys are graduating. So it couldn't be a better time for you to be hopping on, um, hopping into this outstanding industry because there's going to be a lot of people who are going to want to go to a lot of places <laughs> and um, you know get get back uh, get back out there so um, I think the timing couldn't be better for all of you perfect okay so it looks like we are going to move into our last question okay great we have a student who is actually a newcomer to london and oh. they are in the eap program now so english for academic purposes right um, after they finish they want to yes. take hospitality management um, and they're just wondering is london a tourism city and is there a lot of opportunities to get jobs for students inside london 
Right. So that's a good question, especially for um, even if you want jobs for while you're going to school or for co-op. So if you're already here, there are quite a few jobs. I think it depends on where you want to find um, where you want to do your your tourism or hospitality uh, management. We have most of our tourism jobs will be um, not probably as available until the summer. But if you're thinking of food and beverage, if you're wanting to work in a hotel, so because you mentioned hospitality, um, there might be a few more opportunities for you to start that sooner rather than waiting for the tourism season to begin here in London. Because tourism season tends to be in London, as I mentioned to you, during the summertime. And until our festivals come back, our summertime music and our ability to get together um, the probably the best place for you to find um, your foot in the door in a in a hospitality role might be a restaurant or a hotel. Does that make sense? Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, thank ahead. you for that. Um, so I think we might have time for one last question. Excellent. And that was, how much does it, the cruise usually cost? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> yeah, I, I did say that um, the cruise is not included in tuition. Um, so the good news is, like I said, you'll know well in advance um, how much the cruise is going to be. But typically, um, a student pays between $1,500 and $1,700 Canadian dollars. And that's everything all in. So that's not only, that's your transfers from London to Toronto, your airfare, your transfers from the airport to the cruise, the whole cruise, the um, your food, of course, um, beverages of that are non, non-alcoholic beverages are included. Alcoholic beverages would be something you would pay for if you were of age, which is over 21 in the States, by the way, or over 21 on cruise ships, by the way. Um, yeah, so it's between 15 and 1700, but that's pretty much everything all in. The only thing you need to bring along is money for um, spending on shopping or extra day trips um, that you may want to take. Awesome. That yeah. Sounds like yeah. an awesome deal. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I, Michelle, I can hook you up. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, you know, and it's really, it's so, um, it's kind of one of those, it's not like a grad trip where it's like, woohoo, I'm finally finished college. Um, it really is a business trip that um, you have prep that you have to do before, you have schoolwork that you have to and research that you have to do while you're on the cruise and then you come home and do some presenting back to the students who perhaps may not have been able to come so um, it is like a business trip for um, our travel students but it is um, so much fun and the experience is is um, basically um, yeah the best you could best you could hope for for your students uh, that's why we have it in as part of our program so sounds amazing um, well, thank you guys so much for submitting the question. So we've actually reached the end of our session time today. Um, and we hope that we answered all of your questions in regards to the tourism and travel program. If you think of any more questions, please connect with Fanshawe College recruitment team. You can email them at myfuture at fanshawec.ca or you can book a one-on-one -on -one appointment with a student recruiter at Fanshawe .ca connect. Don't forget to watch your email because we're going to be sending out some details about open house activities that are happening this Saturday. And thank you again to Julie for taking the time to speak to us about your program at Fanshawe College. Of I hope course. everyone enjoys the rest of their open house. So yes, well, and, yeah, and thanks for being here. Thanks for your help, Michelle. And I hope to connect with any or any of you who have more questions. Wonderful. Awesome. Take care. Okay. Thanks. Bye -bye. You as well. Bye-bye.